Welcome to another Southern Cross Tech episode. Today we're going to be having a look at the D-Link DAP1650 AC1200 wireless gigabit range extender. I picked this up about a week ago. Uh, I was having a few wireless dead spots in the house. I've uh, been using it for a week now. I haven't had any issues with dead spots. Uh, speed is working quite well on the 5 gigahertz bandwidth. Uh, let's have a look and see what we get with the unit. So on the front of the unit, we've got a power light and a wireless network light. Uh, gives you your status, make sure everything's connected. Uh, these are just lights. They do look like buttons, but you cannot press them. On the back, we have the USB for connecting a USB storage device. We have a WPS button for connecting with your WPS routers. Uh, we have four gigabit ethernet ports. We have a power button and a power in port. Uh, having a look at what we get with the package, you will receive a Ethernet cable, a power brick, and a user manual. Uh, having a look at the box, this can be configured in three different modes. You can use it as a range extender, using it as an access point, or as a media bridge. Um, I'm setting mine up as a range extender. Uh, I don't have access to run it as a access point because I don't have cable access to where I want to put it. Um, but let's have a look and see how setup goes. So once you connected your unit to the computer, you want to go to the web address in the user manual or you can go to the IP address 192.168.0.50 and it'll bring you to this screen. So the first time you log in, there won't be a password. The password will just be blank, and you'll just click the login. So once you've gone and logged in, you'll be shown this screen. Uh, you want to go through and run the setup wizard. Um, it's the easiest way to do it, unless you really know what you're doing. You can go through the advanced setup. Um, it will ask you if you want to set it up as a media bridge, a range extender, or an access point. If you're setting it up as a range extender, it will give you the available networks, select which one you want to extend, and it'll go from there. It'll then reboot itself. Um, it'll log you out and you'll have to log back in. Once it's done that, the light on the unit itself should be solid green. Um, it should look like, should look like that. Once that's done, you can disconnect it, go and plug it in, put it in the location you want, turned on and it should work fine. You should be able to see it on your mobile devices or your computers. Log into it with your password that you'll get in the box. Once you've done that, it should be running fine. Uh, if you have any problems, there is a helpline or a help email address in there that you can contact D-Link with. Um, if you like this video, please go ahead and subscribe. There'll be more coming soon. Thank you.